Daisy seems rather indifferent to the fact that she's been captured by Casus, much less that he also seems to be drawing a significant amount of blood from her. Though he still talks plainly, Casus is clearly somewhat threatened by Daisy's presence. Not just because she's the so-called destroyer of worlds, but also because the prophecy foretold that multiple shield agents would return from the past to overthrow his order. He's already connected that Simmons and Daisy must have come together, since neither have metrics, but now he needs to know if there are more out there he should be looking for. After paying Dicky his literal piece of silver for betraying Daisy, Casus instructs him to find other time travelers. In the meantime, Casus loops Daisy into his main business of training and then selling powerful inhumans. He Daisy meets a telepath capable of hearing other people's thoughts whenever his earpiece implant is turned off. That makes him capable of predicting and countering his opponent's moves, which Daisy doesn't think is necessarily fair. But she and the other S.H.I.E.L.D. agents are still getting used to the alien morality of the station. As the telepath explains, he doesn't mind being sold off because his family will be compensated, giving them a better chance at survival. And here, survival is everything. I must say, I greatly enjoy the constant tension in this season's future setting. A particularly thrilling sequence comes when Casus decides to interrogate Daisy and Simmons about how they got here, if their stories don't match, then he'll know they're lying about being the only ones from the past. As he says that after Fitz, their teammate Jeffrey Mays, she took Simmons to a diner to talk about their feelings, whereupon they were seized, knocked out, and woke up here. At first it seems impossible that the stories will match, since Cassia's implant prevents Simmons from hearing well. But it turns out the telepath doesn't just hear thoughts, he can also transmit them, allowing Simmons and Daisy to sync up their details. For now they've evaded suspicion, but being so close to Casus means the telepath has picked up on his thoughts as well, and they seem to indicate a plan to destroy the station at some point in the near future, rendering his selfless sacrifice moot. So Daisy decides it's time to shake up the rules a bit around here. Recap continues on page 2.